Well, I have a quick look at my phone. I'm using a Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. And this is the home screen that I use. The purpose of getting this in my hand is it's easier to actually follow things. So I I start serendipitously. We'll start inside this little group I call PLN. It includes Evernote, Flickr, which I use to search for things like EdTech or PLN, Google Plus, Audioboo that I use to create content as well as listen to. And these two are specialized social networks for bookmarks. Andricious goes into Delicious and Pinboard goes into um, kind of a, it's like Delicious on steroids. You can do, do smart things with it. So let's have a look. I'll go into Google Plus and have a look at the circles that I'm following, but then I'll search up here for people or for circles that, that have concepts I'm interested in. In actuality, since I'm on message today, which is the PLN, I'll go into my circle, which is called EdChat, i.e. And it's populated by people that follow education on Twitter. They chat about education on Twitter. And this shows you what they might have posted into Google+. I'm using it as more of an ambient method, of trying to figure out, well, do you have anything at all that uh, relates to education, technology, and, and personal learning networks? So the commentary and the upvoting by people would indicate to me that, right, what I want to do is maybe follow Denise. I've done following Denise Morgan Kalicki already. And um, she's talking about circles as a dynamic, as a personality dynamic or as a learning dynamic. Um, going through this just to kind of like see is there anything that's popping up in the way of passion, education, and technology. Okay, out we go from that. Back into my home screen. And I'll have a, a, dive, a quick dive into just looking on Flickr to see are there images that would be of interest to PLNs. The goal here is I type in PLN, have a look, and see if anyone's actually um, anyone's actually doing anything with a PLN on, on Flickr. This provides me a really quick look in my hands of folks on Twitter, all around Twitter, that are tagging images as PLNs. So you can see tag clouds here that have evolved. And uh, by tapping on them, you can get more information about the line of thought that somebody has with regard to a PLN. This one from Caroline Bucky. Lots of good words about conversations and collaborations. So I'll go into Flickr and I'll uh, pop through a few of these images just to see if the schematics, the ideas, the flow of visual design is of interest. Doing all this on my hand, you know, in a queue, in a bus, on, a, on, a, on the street. And uh, into Andricious. Andrish to look at the Android version of Delicious. Same thing, I'd uh, be looking at bookmarks that I already have. So um, it's synced out like 12 hours ago, so it might not, might not be really, well, I need it to sync before I start doing this because I won't get much value out of it since the last time I checked. So I'll look at PLN. Uh, eight bookmarks are showing up. And uh, it lied to me. You'd want to try to figure out why that's not showing up here in uh, on the handset. By tapping the individual uh, item, it'll go to, in this case, a screener presentation about the PLN. And I've seen that already, so I won't, I won't go back to that. So instead, we'll go back into the PLN group, into Pinboard, and see if Pinboard's actually giving me something that is of interest to uh, overall bookmarks. My bookmarks, and you can see the flow that I have here in Pinboard, which is coming in from Twitter. It's coming in from Foursquare. It's coming in from things I manually upload into uh, Pinboard. I'll have a look, though, for uh, stuff that relates to a PLN. Have, and the uh, bookmark results. Lots of stuff here coming in from building your own PLN to digital bookmarks. So uh, what, what I'm actually saying is the Pinboard app on uh, Android is much more solid than the, the, uh, the Andricious app. I use both because, you know, it's, it's all free stuff and sometimes one may fall over where the other uh, is helpful. Personal learning tools for PLN, 
and the tag that was on here indicated it would probably may have something to do with uh, online Enchica in Berlin. So have a look at uh, this image that's coming in from the mobile side of Flickr. And as it comes in, it shows me a schematic, a word cloud, that uh, gives me another view. Another view of uh, PLN. In this case, it shows the tools that I'm using in my trade for building a PLN.